I'm Marcia Winbeckler, and my husband Roland and I own CakeSuppliesPlus.com. We're professional cake decorating instructors, and we've appeared on the Food Network and TLC's Ultimate Cake Off. We're also known for our life-size cake sculptures that we do of and for celebrities, and photos of those are available on our website too. I'm going to show you today how to make a a nice bow tie style of bow and I'm going to roll out my I'm using gum paste you can use fondant but they come out thicker and bulkier looking you can take fondant and add some of the gums like the CMC gum uh, or the Tylos which is what is CMC gum and I'm going to be making a golden bow today and I've colored it with just a little bit of lemon yellow and then an even smaller amount of uh, orange added to the gum paste. So I have a kind of a real pale golden color. And that way when I add the super gold luster dust it doesn't take as much to try to hide all the white because I've got a base of a golden color already. I'm going to roll this out and if I'm going to show you how to use a pasta machine. I love my pasta machine attachment. Uh, for detail work on cakes. It's kind of like having a mini sheeter. But if you don't have one, you can use one of these rolling pins that has the gauges on the side and that you can get fairly thin and nice and even that way. But even with a pasta machine, you do have to roll it out so that it'll fit through the largest setting. One of my favorite tools in the kitchen is my uh, pasta roller attachment for my KitchenAid or any electric pasta roller will work. You want to stay away from the ones that don't have the motors because they really they take three hands. But uh, what I've done is first just roll out my gum paste to thin enough so that it'll go through at the number one setting. I'll turn it on and I'll go through number one first and then down to number two. I'm going to add a little texture to this so I'll stop at number two but if I wasn't going to I would uh, use a number three to get it even a little bit thinner. I've rolled out my gum paste using my pasta machine attachment down to a number two thickness and then I'm going to take some um, super gold luster dust and put a little bit on here on both sides. Flip it over and this keeps it from sticking and it keeps the roller from sticking because I'm going to use a texture roller and make sort of a fancy ribbon fabric effect on my gum paste. And I just want to press firmly. I start from the center and go outward and then do the same from the center going the other direction. Get a nice impression there. And I want to add a little more of the super gold. I'm going to flip it over because this is going to be the outside of my ribbon. Now I want to do any trimming that I want. I want about you can figure out how big your bow is going to be lengthwise because if you fold this in each loop is going to be about a fourth. So the next thing I want to do is trim it up a little bit. Luster dust. I want this to be about 10 inches by say two and a half or so. Well, that's just about right. And I'm going to go along the edge with my palette knife to just get rid of any of those little ragged edges. You don't want a bow that looks like the thread is fraying on it. Then I want to fold this over in half, not crease it because it will make a weak spot there, but just mark it enough so that you can see where the center of it is. And then I'm going to take my water pen. You can just use a brush with water if that's what you have. And fold this in to that line. Then turn it over. Then to fold it, I'm first going to make a kind of a little crease in the center and then make sure and fold down these two side portions. Like so. And if you're finding that some of these are not attaching in there, you can add a little bit of the, the water in where those folds would go. Like 
Then I want to take some, I use PVC pipe. You can use saran wrap or wax paper. I've got a little bit of cornstarch on these and I'm just going to put that inside here. The PVC pipe is that you can actually stand the bows up on their end to dry if you want. Like that so that it dries on both sides. I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit more of the super gold to get it nice and metallic looking. Set that aside to dry. Now for the center, I'm going to take a piece that's about three inches uh, wide here and two and a half inches long. And I've textured it and added the super gold luster dust on there. I don't have to worry about the edges being a little ragged because none of them are going to show. So I want to, after I have it textured, I'm going to turn the textured side down. And then with the longer side going this way, I'm going to put a little bit of the water right along the edge here. And then fold in each edge just gently and as small as I can keep it. You can make it a little smaller with this being thinner, being gum paste. Then I want to, in the center, make a fold and then one more on each side and sort of pinch that all together. Turn around and do the same thing to the other side. Just a fold in the center and then one on each side of that so that when it wraps around the bow it'll look something like that. So I'm going to bring in a bow that I've already dried and show you how that would go on there. So that would just wrap around the bow like so and you can add a little bit of the water in back if you like to attach them together. Now for the tails I have just two elongated strips and it's a little bit thinner than the width of my bow is because you don't want a lot of bulk ending up uh, at the center. So I also want to make sure that the edges are nice and smooth. I'll take my palette knife along there and just smooth those up. Then for the cut on it, I like to use a diamond shaped cutter. It's nice to have a variety of sizes of these for different sizes of ribbons. Then again, I just want to take and make that triple fold and pinch together and the same on the other piece so that your exposed edges there are always going down kind of pinch it together bring them into the center I'm kind of going to flatten them in the center so that uh, I don't have a big bulk for my bow to sit on and I give them a, a lifelike puffed up look. And it would be something like that.